Well, good evening, everybody. Everybody, YouTube land. Evening. Uh, well, it's evening here. Pitch black outside. Good day to y'all, whatever your time zone. My name's Ian. Welcome to my shed. <laughs> I hope you like the new artwork. Uh, big thanks to Hazy Days for that. A uh, little bit time, a little of update. Corner near enough got over the cold uh, to be honest I've done nothing all week come home from work sit on the settee go to sleep wake up have a shower and go to bed all week it's the first time I've been in the garage this week I've done nothing today either my daughter took me to the pictures this morning to the cinema we watched at Venom bit of quality time with my daughter but during the week I was a little puzzled at this. Well, there was a comment by Twitch Your Whiskers, and he said he used to have an index mill. I'd be careful that that isn't a BNS taper. So, not into all that. I do know there's a R8. I know there's Morse taper, Jacob taper. Anyway, there's a Brown and Sharp taper as well. The company's still going, Index. They're in America. And they do advertise that take the quill out, send it to them, and they'll re retaper it to R8. Well, that'll be well expensive for me. I mean, it's $250 for the retapering, but I mean, I'm in the UK. It'll probably cost that again in postage. So, anyway, by the by, I need to know what this is. Yeah, I can figure out it looks like a Morse too, but I don't really know. So if I can rearrange my beer and point you down here. If I can take a known moss taper and I can cover it with some blue, like so, I can stick it in, turn it round and can see where the marks are. He said that uh, on the practical machinist site said, if you only get a whir pattern here, then it'll be a brown and sharp taper. If it's an overall whir pattern, because I'm sticking it into a Morse 2 taper, Morse 2 sleeve, then it'll be Morse 2. Okay, so I went to a friend of mine and I borrowed two sleeves. That is a two to one. So it's one inside, two outside. And as soon as I looked at that and I thought, hey, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's 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 similar. So I thought with that similar, it's more than likely going to be this two inside, three outside. An initial as soon as I shoved it in, I thought, oh, that's a nice fit. <laughs> We've all heard that one before, said the bishop to the actress. Go on. Let's see what the guy says. I don't have the proper equipment for doing this. Uh, like little roller pads and anything. It's just a little bit of, little bit of this blue stuff. And smear it round. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I get it. I just want to see if I can. Uh, Get a good whir pattern. The guy I borrowed the stuff of knows what I'm doing. Quite happy with a bit of blue on the inside of his sleeve, he said. Right. <clears throat> so this is going to go in there. And we're going to do a little bit of this. And pull it out. If you can pick that up, there's were all the way down the shaft. So that, that, that is definitely a Morse 2 taper. So that's a Morse 2 taper. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely Morse 2 taper. That's the start anyway. 
on the website it says if there had been B and S, Brown and Sharp, it would have worn a clear band just round the bottom there where the taper was touching. So knowing that was Moss 2 taper, I needed to know what that thread is. So that's the drawbar out the mill. And that screws in there nicely as it should initially I went and got my top and die set but as it's a cheap Chinese it doesn't do imperial so I couldn't run a die over that or run a tap down there to see which one fit I do remember once upon a time coming across one of these so I've dug it out my set figured well if it's an old machine it wasn't going to be metric so I went for the Whitworth and to be quite honest I started at this end and I went through well I skipped I skipped the the dinosaur teeth ones and I went straight through and it happened to be the very last one so the very last one very last one I got hold of no. was the right match and looking at that it said 16g whatever 16g is I've not got a clue but stamped at the side of it is 3 8 so I now know that it's a 3 8 3 8 drawbar it's most to 3 8 but I isn't quite right is it let me explain and all that's a no I know that is a known Morse 2 taper sleeve and all that fits in there lovely and the word pattern suggests that that is Morse 2 taper but that doesn't tell me that the mill is Morse 2 taper just says that that fits in that used to fit inside of it if the only were pattern is a tiny band round there then the mill still could be brown and sharp taper and the guy was using a Morse 2 taper in it now there is a way to find out I do the same thing on the mill So I think it can be pretty clear to say that uh, we haven't got a little whir band at the bottom. So there's pretty even whir marks all over the bluing to suggest that that is actually a Morse 2. Oh well, it is what it is. Time's just a little tight for me tonight, so I want to answer a few other things. Uh, in the comments, in the last video, Cliff Shed. You know I watch Cliff Shed, great chap. He made a comment. Said, uh, what, what you need next is a, is a, is a DRO. So, I thought, that's ah, no problem, I've got one of them. But, uh, then, you know, I went to dug it out. You know, let me, uh, let me put it down here, have a look at this. Yeah, so I thought to myself, yeah, I've got one of them. I dug this out. Bought this from a lad at work. Uh, well, that is called the Mitty, Mitty Toyo. Magnetic. I thought, that's right, but I know you're all out there shouting now. That is a DTI. That is not a DRO. Yeah, well, I know that now because I've done some research. But the point is, when I read his comment that's what I thought he meant so I've got a one of them well that led me to thinking well what else have I got well 
some of you guys might remember this from a long from the adventures in magnetism where i attempted to cod wallop some of you but what i've got got a magnetic bed all right you can't see that i pull that over it oh, right, stuck to bed hang on can't do it that way oh, oh bang it's not a... anyway <laughs> there's a lever here if i put something on the that is metal for chef i've got a shed full of metal stuff i can't find one there if i put something on there i can move that around but once i've pulled that lever That ain't moving for love and money. Hey, pick it up now. I'll be able to use that on the mill. So I mentioned Cliff, Cliff Shed. I was uh, I was watching his video when he was making a remote connection to his VFD drive. It kind of get me thinking maybe I should put that on the mill. <laughs> so dns island i still don't know how sandra goes in all those skips pulling out loads of stuff and she never chips her nails you know i pick anything up here and i break a nail so dns he goes in a skip what does he do he pulls out two vfd units controllers no saying they work but hey you know you never know you're looking to draw you gotta be in to win Anyway, digressing, Cliff. So Cliff's fitting a remote sensor, remote control to his VFD drive on his woodworking lathe. Turns around and shows a graduate union woodworking lathe. I used to have one of them. It, it wasn't mine. I could have had it. It was too big. Uh, I was selling it on behalf of somebody who was deceased. I could have had it, but I've already got a little wooden lathe, I didn't need a big one. But it was the same old as what uh, Cliff has. And uh, I mentioned I still have a face plate for it. So, oh yeah, there's your face plate. Right, let's uh, now this doesn't screw onto your bedside it screws on the other side if you're going to do some i don't know big ball turning i guess the dimensions of this are one foot 12 inches so cliff if that's any use to you you're welcome to have it all right let's show you something else <laughs> I knew YouTube would eventually get me on my knees. So Cliff said I needed a DRO. I thought I had one. Looks out it's a DTI, not a DRO. <clears throat> Looked up what a DRO was. Digital readout something or other. I thought, I had a look at it, saw the box, thought I've got one of them. But were well, I did a little bit of eyeballing around. And it's there. So I'm gonna dig that out. Right, so there we are. And it's a it's a mitty toyo. But as you can see from the readout, it's only a two readout. Uh that doesn't really matter, I don't think, because uh, the height, I don't know, if I'm using this mill, it's got graduations on, on the quill or on the bed, and I can sure you can, I can do that by eye. Anyway, yeah, uh, it's better than not having one, I guess. Uh, I'll just shut the door. And I did. 
go back up there. Right, okay, I think I'm going to call that it tonight. I, I, I am running out of time tonight. I wanted to say a little bit more. My son was in the news. I wanted to uh, crime watch. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I'll do that on another video. Very proud of me, lad. I am. Right, Ian in the shed. Catch you in the next video.